We're on our way to uh, the Tulsa Broken Arrow Coin Show. Um, driving through a construction zone right now, but uh, we stopped by uh, a coin shop here in McAllister. Um, they basically didn't have anything uh, for anybody. Um, they, they've been selling out of everything uh, currently in their city, um, but I ended up picking up uh, a one ounce bar from them. Um, they're pretty cool guys. I had a quick chat with them. Uh, Colton runs the shop um, with a few of his friends and uh, it was a really nice time going there and just visiting something that was like you know down to earth and cool um, but what I wanted to tell you guys is that whenever you go to any shop like I would suggest just investing in them buying something that you might like or someone else might like even if you're gonna pay extra for it because uh, you're investing in a friendship you're investing in something that might be long term and you know it's it's always great to bless a local business um, in any town that you go to so uh, let's continue with the video um, I hope you guys uh, are having a great day so far acoustic collectibles we just got home from the broken arrow coin show um, and as you can see we have a whole bunch of coins over here uh, I think we got about 45 different coins at this coin show it was a, a massive show uh, a whole lot of people came out and the dealers had a whole lot of good stuff but let me take you over here and show you guys just a few things uh, that we're going to show you today and we're going to show you a whole bunch more coins this week as time unfolds um, but if you guys are interested we have all our coins up at, uh, I think, AcousiaCollectibles.com, uh, I think. So, uh, it's going to be, our uh, link is going to be in the description for any of these coins. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Come on this way, and we'll show you some stuff. So, um, here's a group of about seven coins. But the coolest part from all these uh, coins was the World Trade Center coins. Um, we, we found these um, and we thought it was an extremely pivotal time during our history. Um, during the, These past 20 years have been crazy and uh, have been hard for a lot of people and uh, we actually sold those to somebody that really wanted them and we feel really good about it. Um, but let's take all these uh, coins up to the light box, show you guys exactly what we got. Um, stay tuned and enjoy. Hey everybody, just made it up to the light box and I want to give you guys a short overview kind of, of what we found at the show. Um, and uh, So we're going to jump into the coins real quick. Don't want to waste any more of you guys' time. Um, but uh, there was a lot of beautiful coins this weekend and we ended up spending about $11,000 which is just crazy for a smaller show. Um, but so thankful for uh, all the opportunities we were given. Um, such, such beautiful coins, such awesome people. And we're going to get into that in just a few minutes and should talk to you guys about a few people. But first off, we're going to show off this 1882cc. It's got this pink toning to it. Um, I've actually bought a coin like this before with this pink toning. Uh, it was more of a common date, and I really did like it. Um, I just like the pink pink uh, part about it, um, and it's not too ugly either. It's not too dark. Um, it still has that kind of luster to it. But... Um, a pretty strong coin. Um, the CC market is pretty hot right now, and uh, when I brought this home, put it on the website, uh, it actually sold um, within a few hours. Um, the guy actually wanted a different coin originally, but that one sold, and so he's like, "Find me something that, that I like." And I actually showed him this one, and he's like, "I'll take it." And so uh, this coin's pretty beautiful. Um, and shout out to the dealer at the show that so sold me this one. He's a cool guy. He's been collecting tone coins for years and uh, I'm pretty fortunate enough to buy this one from him. So, uh, but let's hop into the next, the next coin. Alrighty, this is an 1881O uh, proof light coin. And as you can see, like, look at the luster on this coin. I mean, it's really deep luster. Um, the reverse is pretty nice as well. And the thing about uh, what I would say for omens, for you guys to watch out for, um, this, these omens actually uh, were the dies for the 
the dies were actually never replaced on many of these years. So finding a proof like coin from uh, the New Orleans Mint is pretty tough. And so what I would say to you guys is that if you're if you actually end up looking at the comps and buying some coins like this, um, omens are pretty tough. And since they didn't change the dies out too often, um, uh, you're gonna when the dies aren't changed out, they start to get really hazy proof likes. And then people start saying these aren't proof likes. And then um, your coin isn't really uh, as sought after as other proof likes just because they don't have that proof like feel to it. Um, and so this coin kind of met that proof like feel to it. Um, and someone needed this hole for their collection because once again, omens are a little bit more expensive and a little bit more rare. So this coin kind of hit the mark for, for me and I, I picked it up and kind of with how most uh, proof like coins are, I brought it home and it was gone. So, but uh, I do post new coins every week uh, on our on our uh, on our website. Our website just launched, so our description is in um, is in the description below. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel and buying something new for your collection, so let's hop into the next coin. Now, I don't really buy too many common day PLs unless they're the right price and with the right character, and so. I picked this uh, PL up at the show. I didn't think it was that nice, you know. I got it for a good price. And then when I got it home in the light box and took a photo of it, watch this, it's just, boom. See that? The frost, um, it kind of, uh, it kind of has that really nice contrast between that and the details. It is a common day coin though. Um, but just take a look, I mean, wow. The frost on it is is pretty remarkable, especially on the reverse. I mean, you could just see your finger all the way back here. Um, but the coin is really mesmerizing. Um, and when you find a coin with this this kind of deep uh, frostiness to it, people end up buying it super quick. Um, just because if you're trying to find a proof like, you're not going to try to find one that's close to a business strike. You're going to try to find one that's really as deep a mirror as possible um, for your price range. And so... Kind of with the other PL, this one uh, flew off the shelf quick, but um, I apply. I knew I do get in PLs a lot and very often, um, but I do always love sharing them off. And I actually made an Instagram post today saying, yeah, "Proof likes never get old," and that is uh, probably the most accurate statement you'll hear all week. So, but let's jump into a few more coins. And as you guys have known, I've been on the key day kick as of lately. This is an 1895 O uh, graded G4 by um, Annex. Um, it's a nice coin. Um, and I've been trying to get into coins uh, with different dates. Um, sometimes um, just so people can find some whole fillers, just like this coin. Uh, I normally don't buy Annex, but um, if you have the right coin that comes by um, for the right price, um, it, it, it's worth it. And so. Uh, this coin's pretty nice, has some nice details. I'm trying to see exactly what, I don't know if this is like a lamination error here or a strike through or something or just some some gunk, but that's pretty interesting. Um, but overall, there's nothing too distracting about the coin. Um, and like I said, uh, when someone's filling their book, you know, most of the BU coins you're gonna spend, you know, typically, you know, 50 to 60 to 70 bucks. And for a little bit more of harder key day coins, uh, you're gonna want to spend, uh, you know, probably around 200, 300 bucks. And this coin falls in the middle of that, uh, you know, around probably around 250 bucks. Um, but a really strong coin. And uh, let's jump into uh, the next one. So my brother got a little bit gun shy, and he wanted to buy something, so he ended up buying this 1923 uh, MS66 uh, piece dollar. And the cool thing about this coin, which I like, is it's it's got some, it feels like a subtle toning to it, um, like a little bit of like a patina, but also the coin is pretty uh, pretty flashy as well. Um, when you see a coin like this, um, the luster does take you away. Uh, the only little distracting mark is right, right here where a mint mark would normally be. Um, but Casey does know how to find pretty coins, and this one was no exception. Um, and uh, I'm happy that he's wanting to start to do stuff like this and buy more coins. He does. Uh, he is a thought leader of our business, um, but he also uh, wants to start doing stuff like you know hunting uh, for new inventory. And this one's a pretty cool one. So uh, let's jump into 
the last two coins of the video, which are probably the most important. So we were at the show, and um, it was September 10th, and we ended up, I came up to this table, and um, I, I saw these two coins, and I asked, how much were they? And um, they offered to me for, the, for them for a steal, um, and just for a tip for you guys to know, um, 2001 uh, ASCs are more expensive than say 1998 or 1996 ASCs from the World Trade Center, um, from the World Trade Center uh, Ground Zero hoard. Um, and the interesting part about uh, these coins, like many people know, um, I believe these coins were found in the North Tower vault um, when the towers fell, and so when they were recovered uh, from Ground Zero, uh, PCGS and I believe a few other grading companies left a uh, designation um, and kind of a little bit for people to understand that this was from uh, this was in the World Trade Center when it went down um, but let's get back to that coin show um, the coin show is uh, really cool um, these people were just setting up I asked them about these two coins um, and they said you know hey we're first-time sellers um, I we're glad you're interested in them and then I bought them and then they said hey uh, would you mind taking a picture with us? And I was like, sure, you know. And uh, so uh, here's a picture of Mr. Johnny and I. Miss Susie took the picture. She's a great lady. Um, but after that moment, I felt like, you know, I'm just so humbled, so honored to be in a community where people uh, are so down to earth and um, just want to provide great coins for people. And um, there's a lot of there's a lot of bad people and everything. Um, but there's a lot, a lot of good in, in, in the coin community. And so uh, I want to shout out to Johnny and Susie. If you ever see them at a show, go over there. Uh, see if you can buy something from them. Um, it was their first show. And so uh, it really made my day that I was their first ever customer. And so uh, and my first, and the first ever customer that bought uh, these two amazing coins with such amazing history. Um, I'm so honored to be able to live in a country where... Um, we can celebrate uh, our faith, we can celebrate our freedoms, and um, we can also remember the times in our history when, when things were tough and where we, we bound together as Americans um, for a common cause. And so um, this, these two coins uh, really made the trip for me and made me so thankful to be where I am. Um, and I really want America to return back to the day where we uh, cherished each other and uh, valued each other's opinions. But um, thank you guys for taking a look at all these coins. Um, I really do appreciate you guys and all that you do. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Um, uh, it was just kind of a brief overview about all the coins that we uh, we have we had that we bought. Um, but there are going to be a lot more coins being showed off this week. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, please leave a like. Uh, comment what your favorite coin was from this video. Uh, for me, the World Trade Center coins were my favorite. Um, and if you guys are new, I would recommend subscribing just because we share a lot of coin content, a lot of great ideas about what's happening in the market, but also kind of how to look for coins and how to sell coins and how to stack coins for your personal collection. So hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. This has been Drew with Akusha Collectibles, and I will see you next time.